guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl amina and i'm back with another video as you guys can see by the title today i'm gonna be telling you guys about how i became a patient care technician and is it really worth it before i jump into this video if you're new to my channel welcome my name is amina i'm a foodie lifestyle content creator and i'm also a first year pa student i made a blog instagram page recently so make sure you guys go check that out i have a bunch of videos discussing my physician assistant journey as well in my physician assistant journey playlist so make sure you guys also check that out and please subscribe if you haven't already joined the team we're on the road to 3k subscribers so hopefully by the end of 2024 we get to that point fingers crossed but without further ado let's jump right into this video so if you don't know what a patient care technician is a patient care technician is a person who helps patients with activities of daily living such as feeding toileting dressing and things of that nature PCTs also draw blood and do EKGs depending on the hospital they work for as well as their training skills and the state that you live in can also play a factor in that as well I live in New York City and my role was to help patients with activities of daily livings and I also drew blood and did EKGs. So you're probably wondering why did I get myself into this field? Firstly because PA school requires you to have patient care experience and I found that the best way for me to be able to learn as much as I can would be to become a patient care technician. Prior to that I was doing home health aid and after that I transitioned into certified nursing assistant and worked in a nursing home per diem and after that I jumped into patient care technician. So the second reason why I wanted to become a patient care technician is that I've always wanted to work in a hospital and the only really way that I see myself fit in the hospital was as a PCT and I felt like it'll give me the experience that I need to not only be a great PCT but also to be prepared for the type of career that I'm getting myself into I feel like it's really important for you to have prior experience or like some type of ground level work before you jump into healthcare and see like is this really for me can I handle blood can I handle feces can I see the things that you see in the hospital like it's really intense and you want to just make sure that you're emotionally mentally and physically prepared for those type of things so now let's discuss how how I became a patient care technician so firstly in New York State or at least my city um, I had to first start off by becoming a certified nursing assistant so the school that I went to was new age training I'm going to link it in the description box below that school was a great school they were trying to push me to join their medical assistant program but honestly I didn't want to pay I think it was like 14000 or something like that. I didn't want to invest all of my money into becoming a medical assistant when I compared the salaries between PCTs and MAs and I felt like it was around the same. In addition to the fact that I was trying to save up for PA school, so I stuck with being a certified nursing assistant and that program, I believe it was eight weeks. I did their evening program. They do offer a lot of different times of the day where you can do your classes, which is pretty beneficial, especially if you're taking college courses. During that time, I was taking undergraduate courses so I was able to balance both you're probably wondering how honestly I really don't know but I was able to and I'm glad I was able to it wasn't as intense so that's a great thing if you are planning on juggling both but I would highly recommend that school so there's a professor there named Miss C she was such an amazing instructor she taught me so well as well as many other students there I believe she's still working there she's great so if you guys do take the CNA course I hope that you guys get her after taking the CNA course I had to get my license so that involved me doing a New York State written exam as well as a practical skill portion. I would say for me personally it was pretty easy. New age training really prepares you well for both portions of the exam. After getting my license I then transitioned into signing up for their patient care technician program so you have to do CNA as a prerequisite kind of and basically the patient care technician program is broken up into two segments a phlebotomy section and EKG section and please keep in mind that all schools operate differently. The school that I went to may not be the same as other schools out there so just keep that in mind. Some schools don't require you to be a CNA prior to you joining their PCT program so just do your research and pick what's best for you. So I believe I did three weeks of EKG and five weeks of phlebotomy if I'm not mistaken. Overall I paid I want to say 
at least three thousand dollars or more for the total of both programs it was pretty pricey but honestly i felt like the education that i got was pretty much worth it i believe there were other cheaper programs out there i just didn't do enough research at that time and i heard great things and great reviews about new age so i just decided to stick it out with them and they also offered cpr training which was perfect i was able to get my bls with them and on top of that when i did become a patient care technician i made that money back plus more so now let's discuss the big question is it worth it honestly for me personally i believe that being a patient care technician was so worth it firstly the money was great i did a lot of ot the hospital that i worked at had so much ot i loved it i live in new york city so as a patient care technician you can get paid anywhere between starting off probably like 22 dollars an hour to 30 dollars an hour or more your experience and the type of hospital that you work at such as being you know a city hospital or a private hospital does play a role into how much you get paid so just compare different hospitals and see what's best for you one of the years that i worked there i think i made like 77 k or more and that did include me doing overtime and if you ask me for a patient care technician that's more than great because the salary of a patient care technician is usually probably like 40 to 50k in new york city at least secondly you learn a lot on the job so i was able to learn about different diseases different conditions i've seen a lot i learned infection control different precautions i learned how to properly care for patients and i learned how to take care of different patients not all patients are the same same size you might deal with patients with strokes different types of conditions i was able to really learn a lot and also learn how to treat patients because you want to make sure that your patients are comfortable all the time so definitely i feel like it gave me a lot of working experience with patients i was able to also learn medical terminology which is pretty important and comes up a lot if you're trying to be any healthcare professional and it also gave me the necessary skills that i need to become a great future provider such as being communicative learning how to be a team player because when you're on these type of jobs it's not just you and your patient you're working with the nurse you're working with the physical therapist the respiratory therapist you're working with the doctors the pas so it's great when you're able to see how effective working in a team is as well as how to work in a team in general also i was able to learn bedside manner you want to be able to make sure that you're talking to your patients politely with respect i also learned how to be an adaptable provider in the hospital a lot can happen at once patients can go from being okay to being in a severe situation so you just want to be able to be adaptable but it takes experience for that to happen i've been in rapid responses where my patient had to get like an icu team called and a lot of things like that really helped me become adaptable and also just being able to spot differences in your patients like seeing that your patient is not breathing normally how they would or not eating normally how they would all of those things when you communicate that to the nurse it gets relayed to the whole patient care team and you're able to provide a better care plan for your patient the benefits was also great too i was under 1199 union and they were amazing great health care benefits great education benefits they have so many different programs out there definitely a great union i know there's other unions and other routes that you can take and lastly i was able to network so much i was also able to shadow another of the requirements of pa school is being able to shadow a physician assistant literally i went to duncan and seen a pa with their physician assistant badge and asked if i could shadow her and then i got my foot in the door met different pas was able to shadow them learned so much not only was i able to shadow pas but i met different physicians and just got to learn from different people i feel like that's very important in the healthcare field because you don't know how connections can help you grow if not in the present time but in the future as well so that wraps up this video i really hope that i answered your questions i know that i get asked a lot about how i became a patient care technician and how i was able to do so and was it worth it and honestly like i said it was definitely worth it i'll be linking all of the information down below and make sure you guys check out my pa blog page i just made it on instagram i post a bunch of different things on there as well as studying tips pre-pa tips and pa student tips as well in new york city study spots so if you like cafes make sure you guys go check out my blog page i'll be linking it in the description and i also have a pre-pa resources spreadsheet 
notion page going on so make sure you guys go check that out as well thank you guys so much for watching until the end make sure you click that like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you can be alerted when i post my next video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye